Hello and welcome back to my life as a maiden. A trap's tale. A trap's tale. With Dronesio again. Hello there. So, last time I left off, I just came out of the bedroom to go to this school. Students are slowly starting to trickle in. I recognise most of the students in grade 10 and above. It seems that there are not many transfer students this year. At least, uh, yeah, at last year's student council president, as, my god, my reading, work on it. As last year's student council president, it is my duty to welcome new students to our academy. I assume that, the, I assume that I will also be voted as this year's student council president if the overwhelming support for me last year is any indication. With how I know... How it goes. Yeah. What's up, sis? Just, just how she comes in. Just like, what's up, sis? Like she should be wearing like a cap, a yeah. bandana, throwing some gang signs. What, which group would she be in? Like you know, like goths, jocks, pretty girls. She the li the Lizzies. This is, this is my little sister, who is a year younger than me. I am in grade 11, while she is in grade 10. Still, one year apart from each other. But the parents did not wait. They did not. And Just they didn't back into the bed. Yeah, Just back you. into the bed. You made sure he didn't, you know, it's easy to tell we're related, but our personalities couldn't be more different. How she has green hair, you have pink hair. The only thing that's similar is your eyes. Hold on, let me just maybe, measure. Maybe let chin. me just measure the chin. Hold on. Her her jawline's longer. This got the pointy chin, yeah. Her jawline's longer. Her head is longer and like um, overall, hers is like more round. She looks like Miku. She looks like Miku. I can't tell by the ears. They both have rosy cheeks. Her nose is more down towards the mouth. Hers is, well, her mouth is open, so that could be it. But mm, her nose is like more in the middle, but it's the tiny noses. Anyway, m less about that. I follow your rules and order while she just does whatever she wants as long as she thinks there will be a favorable outcome. She sounds fun. You sound boring. It is annoying having a sister like a, like you. I told you this morning. I'm get. I'm greeting new students and giving them directions to where they need to go. Is that necessary? It's not like this school is difficult to get around. Just looking at the background. That is a big yeah, it's school. Huge. Someone's bound to get lost. One in five students. And dorms aren't connected to the schools. I seem to recall you having trouble finding a bathroom last year. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. I was panicking so much. Looking back on it, it was really funny. You exposed yourself in public to do your business in a bush like a dirty man. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I haven't even got to that bit. Spoilers! Well, you can even tell there she's a man hater. Yeah. Erica the man hater. It was disgusting. You're lucky nobody else walked by. You still dislike guys that much? This debate again. No matter how many times you bring it up. My answer is going to isn't going to change. Isn't going to change. Isn't going to change. Just read that three times. So I messed it up on the first time. Yes, Sylvia. Nothing has changed. Don't you want to get married and have children of your own? I know you don't swing the other way. So what are you going to do? There's more to life than marriage or children. 
As long as I can manage to get a good job, I'll be happy. Ah, <sighs> if you say so, sis. Okay, her nose is far away from my mouth now. That doesn't make sense. Oh, Mum wanted to see you. Headmistress Faro. Faro. Faro, I'll go with Faro. Huh? You can't act so familiar with her while we are at school. We must refer her to her as Headmistress Faro or Miss Faro. Not mom or mother. Huh. You're not the boss of me. I call her what I want to call her. Why doesn't she ever listen to me? It isn't fair to the other students if we were if we are too close with mo uh, to mother. Nah. You don't see why. Because other students, because they, they're living there and their mum is also with them. So, it, it, to me, it kind of seems like favouritism. Yeah. I mean, that she's president, the mm. student council president, I mean, her mum could have got her that position. Very easily, yeah. But she, apparently she was voted in. Anyway, she said it was important. When you're done here, be sure to go see her. Alright, I'll go in a bit. There's still some new students arriving. Later, sis. Throw up gang signs! <laughs> West, side. West side! Stay out of trouble. If you force Mother to suspend you, I'll be really upset with you. Like she would care. Yeah, she'd be your gangster. She gangster. Hee <laughs> hee. You called her mother. Raise the eyebrows. Huh? I, I, I mean, headmistress. Sure you did. Raise eyebrows. Calling her mother over the summer made me used to saying it. I need to get back to used to calling her headmistress Far Faro. Headmistress Faro. Headmistress Faro. Headmistress Faro. <laughs> Oof. I hit my head on something. I should have been paying attention, more attention to my surroundings. That reminds us of someone who should be thinking. Oh no, I hit a girl! You, you punched her, headbutt her, <laughs> kneed her, kick her, cry chopped her, judo chopped her, Roundhouse. elbow her, Roundhouse kick. Chris cyborged her. Are you okay, miss? Well, hey. Well, hey well, I see how she likes to do it. <laughs> On top. She likes to take control, eh? <laughs> well, we seem very passive, don't we? So. Spoilers! <laughs> Ow! My head and my bottom hurts. What did I crash into? I was lost in thought ever since I, since my mum left and said goodbye to me. Miss? Huh? Above me is a girl I've never seen before. Did I crash into her? Mm, she could have crashed into you. Because women drivers, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and that is a boy, that is a trap. Dot, dot, dot. Wait a second, my skirt! What? What? Why are you screaming? Are you hurt? Did you see? Did I see what? My p p p p p p p car predicament. My predicament. What am I doing? I can't say that word. Which one? I said quite a few there. Oh no, I didn't see your panties. Don't worry. Panties. Is that what she thought I was going to say? I'm lucky they both start with P, or I would have been in trouble. That's a relief. I would have died if you had seen them. I promise I didn't see anything. Here, take my hand. Thank you. Now that I've gotten a good look at her, she's absolutely beautiful. 
She is absolutely beautiful. But that is a boy. That is a trap. You look like a princess. What? Did I seriously just say that out loud to a girl I just met? Please don't take that the wrong way. Do you really mean that? Uh, yes, not like an arrogant kind of princess, but a pretty and nice one. I see. Th thank you. She has such a dazzling smile. Who is this girl? I wouldn't be surprised if she was actually royalty. Princess Peach? Princess Peach indeed. Can, can never look at Princess Peach again now. Yeah. And the hair, and yeah, they're both and blonde, they're they both have blue eyes. And they both get, they're not, you know, very, they need to be protected. <laughs> what type of character am I playing? My name is Erica Faro. It's a pleasure to meet you, Erica. My name is Maria Lockhart. Maria Lockhart, even her name sounds majestic. I guess I see you around. Yes, I sure you will. Have a nice day, Maria. Bye. Oh, I forgot to ask her if she needed help finding her way around. I'm sure she'll be fine. No. Nope. Why couldn't you just go? Who us? Tell us, eh? Take some initiative. You're not a very good fucking council president, are you? Student council president. Well, same thing. Just more words. Yeah. I choose to use less words. <laughs> it does make things easier. How did I end up on the... Do, uh, how did I end up to... Wait. Wait. What? How did I end up at the door to the roof? I thought the students I asked said this was the way to the headmistress room. Up the stairs to the roof? Yeah, they were pulling your leg, man. They were pulling your leg. Unless they were trying to pull something else. <laughs> you bulge. They did say take a left past the bathroom, right? Or maybe they meant the hall past it and not the next to it. <sighs> I don't like school roofs. Good thing I realised it was the roof before I stepped out onto it. Okay, if this roof was plain, I would understand not liking this Yeah, roof. not having the fences at the yeah, back there. This, this roof seems cool. I would there, there, there's pl there's a f um, flower yeah, there's, beds. There's benches. There's benches. There's whole, this place looks with awesome with place. Um, lamps. Street lamps. It looks like a good view. Not here either. 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 Either one is correct. Not here either. Or wait, either. Is that how we say it? Yeah. Either is how the Yanks say it? Yeah. Not here either. But I checked a map this time. What is this anyway? It looks like some kind of meeting room. Maybe it's the student council room. Let's piss in it. <laughs> that's my that's my attempt of it. I ain't gonna try that again. This is so frustrating. I've been looking all over the school and now I'm can't even find the map anymore. I haven't seen any students since the ones I passed earlier either. Everyone must be in their dorms unpacking. I unpacked earlier already with my mom help with my mom's help. I'm going to be living in it with a roommate. Why can't I read anymore? His words have got so difficult for me. <laughs> but she wasn't there even though her stuff was already there. If only I had arrived sooner, then I could have begged her for help. <laughs> Is everything alright? Why are you crying? It's number two. I can't do anything. I'm trying to find the headmistress office, but I can't find it anywhere. I've been searching for an hour. There, there, no need to cry. I'll walk you there. R really? You'd do something so nice without me asking even though we're strangers? I'm just walking you to Miss Farrow's office. It's not like a big deal. A big of a deal. And then I'm 
to put you in the van and we would take you somewhere else. Oh no! Still, thank you. It's more than anyone would have would do for me at my old school. You went to a horrible school if people would leave a cute girl like you crying when they could easily do something to help. That's why I transferred here. I've been bullied for nearly all my life and needed a fresh start. Well, you came to the right place. You won't find a nicer group of students anywhere in the country. I assure you. I assure you. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that, though? If everyone is like you, then I think I like it here. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> sir. You certainly are flat a flatterer, aren't you? What's your name? Maria Lockhart. Hmm. Is something wrong? No, it's just that my cousin has the same last name. Her cousin? Wait. Now that I think it, I'm taking a closer look at her, she looks kind of familiar. Anyway, pl pleased to meet you, Maria. My name is Andre Cornet. No way, it's Audrey. It's been a few years since I've seen her. She looks a lot different, but she is definitely the Audrey I know. Audrey is my first cousin. Incest! Check off the trope list. Audrey is my first cousin on my mum's side. We used to play together as children all the time until we she moved away. Can we play together again? Oh. Damn! We were both devastated. She was my best friend. She was my best friend. We tried to keep contact by sending each other emails, but over the time, the email slowed down and we were we barely talked anymore. It's not the same as talking in person. Hell no. I mean, I'm so happy to see her again. I could just give her a hug. And you Ooh. did. Insert here. Oh, damn! What a savage. <laughs> Soon you just gotta be dabbing on those girls. <laughs> I don't think I'll take it that far. <laughs> I'm not that part of that message. Without thinking, I wrap my arms around her in a tight embrace, with tears rolling down her her cheeks, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can see where it's going. <sighs> Whoa! Uh, sor sorry. Oh, don't apologize. You just caught me off guard. You look like you could use it, that hug. Here, let me help you further. Let oh. me bend down for you. Oh, no. Don't know. She hugs me back with equal tightness. Thank you, Audrey. I'm glad to see her. I'm glad she's here. But I can't tell her who I am, can I? It's too risky to tell my secret to anyone, and Audrey might dislike me if she know how much I've changed. She might think it's disgusting that a boy is wearing female clothing. I don't want that to happen. If I were to hear those words from her, everyone needs a good hug now and then. Feeling better? Yeah, much better. I can't tell her. No matter how much I want to, she can't know. Then I walk you down to the office. By the way, which dorm are you staying in? Um, I forgot the letter. Hold on a sec. I have the sheet with the letter on me. Then you didn't forget the letter. I'm in dorm C. It looks like we'll be seeing each other off each other often. I'm in dorm C too. This is great. We can become friends again. Again? Question mark. Did she say that out loud? I forgot. Yeah, uh, no. no, okay. Today is going to so good. Nothing can bring me down now. Don't jinx it. Every time you say something, when someone says stupid things like that. Like, I'll be right back. Well, jinxing it, yeah. 
Don't worry, I'll be fine. Next thing you know, you've got two broken legs. A knock, a knock, a knock. Come in. Hello, Headmistress Faro. I believe you wanted to speak with me? There's nobody else here. You can call me mother, dear. I'd rather not. I got too used to it over the summer. Very well. I have something important to tell you that must remain between us. You are not to tell any other students of what I am about to say. Promi promise me this. <clears throat> what could she possibly want to tell me? She looks so serious. Question, who am I? So am I playing like two girls? No, I say two girls. Yeah. Am I playing as a trap and a girl? Um, sorry. Maybe you just said this in respect of everyone. Well, that's not right. Has the school funding been decreased? Maybe certain courses aren't seen as important anymore and are being removed. I promise I won't say anything to anyone. A few months ago I received an unusual call from an old friend of mine. Her son has had been heavily bullied and it got bad enough that she had to withdraw him from the school. Her and her husband still wanted him to finish high school though. She asked me if I could enroll him in, at her academy. What? Who in their right mind would ask something like that? This is an all-girl school. No boys allowed. Well, boy you obviously refused to grant her stupid request, right? Right? Why is she staying silent? No. Don't tell me. Right? You are correct. Ding, ding, ding. I did at first. A boy going to an all-girls school would cause too much co controversy. Just like us keep saying trap. Yeah. Not to mention the fact that we're a Christian school trying to install good behaviour to our students. I keep forgetting that this is a Christian, Christian school. school yeah. Me too. She begged and pleaded until I finally decided to meet this boy. He was not at all what I expected. Cause he's a trap. Even you fell for it. He was like, damn, that's a hot girl. Yeah. <laughs> I am I'm em embarrassed to say I am embarrassed to say that I expected this to be a ploy crafted by him so that he could get into an environment of only girls for perverted reasons. After talking with him for several hours, I knew he needed to be here. He needed to be here? He belongs here. Forever as a trap. Forever as a trap. You expect everyone to welcome a male into the school? A good amount of students here come here because it's an all girls school. Their parents didn't want them to be distracted by boys. They will not know about this as long as you keep it, keep your promise. They won't know about him? What is that supposed to mean? How can he go to a school here without anyone knowing? Do you plan on isolating him from everyone? No, he will go to class and live in the dorms just like you. Then everyone will know there is a male going to their school. No, if they never suspect him of being a boy in the first place. He's going to cross-dress? Yes. He will be attending Maidenheart Academy dressed as a girl and under a female name. It takes more than a name and clothes to be a girl. There is no way a guy can pass for a girl. Oh, we could do a pretty good job. We? Well. We're, we're going to dress up as girls? Okay. Like Maria? <laughs> could do. Just for the series. Well, without hormone treatment and surgery. Wait, is that it? No, he's not transgender, just a trap. Then he's fully male, I can't accept that. This is outrageous. Mother, what are you thinking? I thought you were like me and failed rules and order. 
No, she's more loose. Ah, she's not down there, though. <laughs> as far as I know. I don't know. Don't question me. He is already enrolled in the school, Erica. I assure you that he can pass very well for a female. God damn. I doubt that. But even so, he's still a male. It's dangerous to have a male living in, in her dorms. He, he won't be sharing a room with someone, will he? <sighs> he will. I feel sorry for the poor girl who ends up living with him. <laughs> what will you do if he does something to her? You need to, you need to stop judging guys simply because they were born male. That isn't right, Erica. I know you had bad experience, but it doesn't excuse your behavior. But it happened. I'm the former student. The <laughs> I'm the former student council president, and I'm running for the procession again. How can I just ignore the possibility of future sexual assault? Statistically, more males are stronger than females. This puts his roommate in a disadvantage. If something went were to occur. I got there. Not in this case. I chose a roommate for him who is stronger than he that he is. I guess that's something. That makes me feel a little better. How much stronger? Hmm. Lift this suitcase for me. Okay. No big deal. Doing it with my little pinky. <laughs> I do what she says and lift the suitcase she pointed at using only one of my hands to lift it. Are you able to lift it in comfort? Are you able to lift in comfortably? Are you able to lift in comfortably? That makes no sense. No, it should be an it. Are you able to lift, lift it, it comfortably? <laughs> so is that that's that's an error. I can lift it, but it's kind of heavy. What's in it? Bricks? Weights. When I went to talk to the boy, I left the suitcase at his door. Sometime during our conversation, I asked him to go get it for me. He struggled with it. He could barely lift it off the ground and had to stop every few seconds to get a better grip. I tried walking around the room with the suitcase in my hand. My arm is getting tired, but I am still able to walk around. Not only did you walk further than he did, you also lifted more. I added additional weights for you so that it's 30% heavier. Can you lift though? Yeah. Can you even lift those? Do you even lift, sis? Do you even lift, bro? No, no. Can you do, lift, bro? do you even lift, sis? Can you lift, sis? Can you lift, sis? She added weights for me? You knew I was going to ask about this, his strength? I figured you would. So this girl is going to become his roommate, has similar strength to me? God damn girl. You're not very smart, are you? Face palm. It hurts. I found how hard she made me do it. Erica, you still haven't figured it out yet? <clears throat> figured what out? Nope, she's clueless. Absolutely. I. Her brain's not functioning between those ears. It coming into one ear, out the yeah. other. The girl is you. You're going to be his roommate and help him fit in with everyone. Me? I have to live with a boy? You can't be serious. I think it would be good for you to get rid of your irrational dislike of men. Or at least reduce it. You can't do this to me. Would you rather your room? Uh, you rather him a room with someone else who is unaware that he is not a girl? N no, of course not. Then you are the best option. Why didn't you choose Sylvia? That girl is too reckless. I wouldn't be able to trust her to keep such a big secret. Uh, she'd probably tell it on the first day she heard it. Which is why you are the only choice. 
This isn't fair. I was looking forward to this year, and now it's going to be ruined by a boy. Give him a chance, Erica. Maybe you two will be even become close friends. I'm stumbling on my words. Yeah, that mindset sucks. Get rid of it. That's never going to happen. What else? What does he look like anyway? You'll see when he gets here. He should be here a while ago. I wonder what's keeping him. And I think I'll leave that episode here. Thank you for watching. My life my, as a maiden. My life as a maiden. A trap's tail. I was just going to say a trap's tail. And I just forgot. But anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.